Let's go. I'm oh, sorry, are we rushing? <laughs> people ask and you shall receive so you guys like a couple of you guys left comments saying that you wanted me to do a day in the life of a dog mom because you liked my last day in the life of a dog mom video um but the last one i was a stay-at-home dog mom and this one i am a working dog mom so that is what we're doing today i have to Go to work. I'm sorry if I'm breathing really hard. My asthma has been acting up for a couple of days now. Um, but yeah, I have to go to work today. So first thing I gotta do in the morning is do my makeup while Blossom still walks around the house. Well, not walks around the house, lays in a bed as if she doesn't know or realize what's going on when she knows she's about to have to get up out the bed. She is not. I was about to say she's not a morning person. She's not a morning dog. She does not like the morning time at all. She's like a I wake up at noon type of dog. So I walk around the house and I make as much noise as possible in the morning so that she can finally come and check out what I'm doing or finally at least sit up in the bed. So when I'm done doing my makeup, she's sitting up in the bed and I go in the room and I'm like, let's go to daycare. And she gets excited and jumps out of the bed. So. And I usually wake up at like the very last second of my life so that I can sleep longer. So I literally have probably 15 minutes to get dressed and walk out this door. But unfortunately, I have a job where I have to wear makeup and I have to look good at work. So it's not like just throwing something on not doing no makeup and just going to work. Like when I used to work in retail, I would literally go like this. I would put clothes on, go like this, no makeup on. Nope, half of my job is I have to be cute for work. So there's that. Oh, the makeup brushes, there's, I have like, there's like 10 more of them. The makeup brushes that I'm using today are from Timu. Timu, Timu, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the brand. Also these. I got a bunch of these. Like a bunch. And they were like $3. So I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of Timu. But honestly, it's like Amazon meets Shein on crack. And I can't believe that nobody ever, ever, ever told me about this brand. They literally have everything. They have jewelry. So I got these for really cute for when I want to go out. I don't know what I'm wearing these. I don't know what I'm wearing these with yet, but I thought that they were like cute going out earrings for when I need to be fancy somewhat. And then I have these kind of moon and star and sun earrings. I'm going to wear these today though. These are cute. These are cute. So I want to wear these today. See? I don't know what outfit I'm wearing yet, but whatever the outfit is, it has to go with these earrings. Um, another thing that I got was, one of the things I'm actually super excited about from their website is they sell like home decor. So like there's these vases that I have been eyeing and on like West Elm and Wayfair and even Amazon, they were I felt a little more expensive than they should have been, but they sell them on Timu and the vases were cheap as hell. I think the vases were like $8. Don't quote me on the $8, but they were they were very, very cheap, especially in comparison to where I'm seeing the same exact vases at online. They are, they are so cheap. I also got a few outfits. So one of the outfits that I got was this brown two-piece. It's like a sweater outfit that I need to figure out where I can wear it to because it's starting to get warm in Atlanta again and I really do want to wear that outfit. It's so cute. I don't want to wait until next winter to wear it. And then there's this like black and white dress 
that I thought I was going to wear to work today. And then I put the dress on and realized that it has like a big ass slit so I can't wear it to work. But it's still really cute. And Amy and I are going on a date this weekend. So I might wear it on our date and make like a TikTok wearing it. I also got um, some pajamas from the website. Some really soft like matching set pajamas and they also have like robes you guys know i love robes they have like some robes and everything i'm telling you this site has everything anything that you can think of type it in on the site they have it i got a diffuser from there for like less than ten dollars and it works great but i'm in the middle of decorating my house so the vases are what i am the most excited about because i'm gonna go back and buy a bunch of like decor i can get like rugs from there not like the huge ones but like small like little area rugs i can get one of those from there and then like redo my entire like apartment for probably less than a hundred dollars i actually went on tiktok too and a lot of people talk about tim you on tiktok i didn't know i didn't know about it until they reached out to me for a sponsorship and then when i went to look them up on tiktok to make sure that it was like a, a good brand Everybody be doing like little hauls and stuff from Tim Yu. I didn't know nothing about this brand. So if you're interested in seeing all that Tim Yu has to offer, I do have the links to it in my description box. You also can go on there and just get whatever you want. Because like I said, they have clothes, they have jewelry, they have home decor, they have cleaning products. You know them, oh, you know them little TikToks that you be seeing of like them Asian people that be having like the weirdest gadgets in their house that nobody else would think to have they're all on tenu all on little weird ass gadgets where them people be transforming into other things and trans like all that shit is on tenu just so you know you can get it off of there so check tenu out and thank you to tenu for sponsoring this video okay no for real i do need to hurry up okay no for real i do need to hurry up because i like to stop at dunkin donuts in the morning and then when i take too long to get out of the house i can't stop anymore because i don't have time and i need to make the time because i'm hungry all right y'all don't see fucking blossom in the back hanging her head out the window because she know we pulling up to dunkin donuts and she is about to get her a pup cup Good morning. Can I please get, um, I would like a green tea with a little bit of the mango pineapple refresher in it to kind of sweeten it, but I do want it to be mostly green tea. All right. Um, and can I also get the, the bacon, snack and bacon? Snacking bacon, okay. Um, and a pup cup. And a pup cup. Anything else I can get you? That's it. You can go to the window. Thank you. Thank you. So this video is actually supposed to be like a little like dog mom and then kind of like my regular job and also the ins and out of like being an influencer. I got so much shit to tell y'all about how these brands have been trying me. Just give me a second. Let me get me a Blossom's breakfast. Mama, did you get the Hi, I'm going to apple hay. Good, I know. <laughs> I've been out of town. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Her pup cup is in here. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. Thank you so much. Mama, is your coffee? Mama, is here. 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 Blossom. You know what? Bitch, I just bought this pup cut. I know. <laughs> I just know that this girl is not not eating her pup cut. Mama, is here. Do you want this? Okay, I'm just gonna put it in your bed. And if you want it, you can come you can revisit it. She does want it. 
You can't see her, but she is literally right here eating this fucking pup cup. Why is she acting like that? I'm trying to pass it to her and she was like, no, bitch. I spent 50 cents on this pup cup. So I got two stories to tell y'all about a couple brands that have like kind of tried me lately. So incident number one. I have two kind of like recent videos that I haven't done as well as my other videos, which is not as serious. Like some videos on YouTube do better than others. Like I'm not, it's not that serious. I actually, I don't care what views I get on YouTube. I put content out that I wanted to make that I think that my audience will like. And sometimes it just doesn't resonate. That is okay. So because those two videos out of all my videos there's only only out of all the videos that i posted recently those are the only two videos that didn't do well there was a brand that i was supposed to work with and they reached out and they were saying that they were concerned it was like you know we're concerned about your recent views um and we're just trying to make sure that our video is not gonna basically they didn't say this but they were like we're just trying to make sure our video doesn't bomb so okay understandable i write them back and i say hi there's absolutely no reason to con there's no reason to worry um i tried something kind of different with my channel where i tried to go back to kind of beauty content and those two videos didn't perform well i said that's normal for creators to have videos do well and then some videos will not do well i said but my most recent video that i posted has is back on track of doing what the rest of my videos did I, you know it's not anything to be worried about it, it's literally just i uploaded two videos and those two just happened to not perform that well so the brand wrote me back and said that they wanted to add a clause into my contract that if i don't hit a certain amount of views i have to do a make good video so if you don't know what a make good video is that basically means that the brand is saying we need you to hit let's say uh my my quota is twenty thousand views so they're basically saying we need you our video that you put us in to hit twenty thousand views and if our video does not hit twenty thousand views you have to do a make good video. So like, let's say my video hits 19,000 views, which is possible because this has happened to me before where my, my thing was 25,000 within 30 days and I hit 24,000. I'm sorry if you hear wind in the background. Uh, I have the window down for Blossom so she can hang out of the window. But basically if, I, if my video hits anything less than what my quota is, I have to make another video with that brand in it within a certain amount of time to make up for the difference, which is incredibly frustrating because now that means that you're taking over two slots, but only paying once when I could have had another brand get, you know, take that slot and been paid for both videos. Um, that's kind of what I'm going through now with a brand. So I have decided I'm not doing a view guarantee no more. You can look at my channel. You can look at my average views. And if you don't like my average views, then don't book me. And if you like my average views, then book me. So I wrote, I literally, I told a brand, I was like, you know what? Well, let me think about it because we signed this contract over a month ago. And now you're adding an additional clause that I didn't agree to. So let me think about it and I'll get back to you. So I got back to the brand today and I told them, no, I just said, hey, you know, I'm not going to move forward with this collaboration. I'm not comfortable with adding an additional clause because you saw that one or two of my videos didn't do well recently. I'm not comfortable with adding an additional clause. So we can pause this collaboration. You can continuously check back in with my channel. And when you feel like my view averages the amount that you guys are looking for, you can go ahead and book me again without the clause. But for right now, I'm not moving forward and i it's a little it is a little bit i don't want to say the word disappointing because it's not about like the money i really don't give to be honest i really don't even think that i charge enough for uh sponsorships but it is mostly about the fact that it's kind of like a it kind of bruises your ego that a brand is telling you like oh you haven't done well enough lately so now we need a guarantee because we don't trust your content or we don't trust your views blah blah blah, blah. i'm just like whatever so that was 
brand number one that fucking tried me. Brand number two, this one is a little bit more complicated because I had already done the video and posted the video before they started posing an issue. So usually when I do a sponsorship and a brand tells me, they send me like the points, most brands, not all brands, some brands just send you the product and say, hey, we need these many minutes or just a minute or whatever for you to talk about our product. But most brands actually do send you a list of talking points that they really want you to hit. So for those brands, the ones who send me like a list of talking points, um, I will actually kind of pick the talking points that I like. I'll write out a script and then I'll film their portion of the video. But when I film it, I'm literally just filming the script. I'm not filming the actual video because I need to get approval for the script before I can like. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. I need to get approval for the script before I film the video because the last thing I want to do is film an entire video, right? And then I send the brand their portion and they don't like their portion, but I've already filmed the video. I don't want to like film, like come back into the video and say, hey, Ayana here, I have a sponsorship because I have to fix what the brand wanted me to fix. So what I do is I send a script of exactly what I'm going to say and exactly what I'm going to do with the product. And if you don't like what I did, I can do another script and send it to you all over again before I film the video. Or I can just refilm the script. Or if you say yes, I can just refilm the script that you said yes to in like hair and makeup or blah, blah, blah. It's the same exact script. I don't change words. I don't deviate from how I show the product, nothing. You approve this script. So this is what I'm going to do in a video. So who's calling me? I don't know, but I'm not paying that bill. This particular, so this particular brand that I worked with has been very, very, very difficult from the beginning. So what they uh, did was they reached out to me and said they wanted to work with me. They was writing me every few hours if I didn't write them back immediately. So eventually I did have to kind of go off on them and write them back and say, hey guys, I work a full-time job. I work with several brands. So I have a lot of uh, sponsorships that I'm filming right now. I respond to all of my emails by myself. I don't have management and <clears throat> I film, edit, produce all my content by myself. Please give me at least 24 hours to respond to you. I think it is very rude that you keep writing me every few hours wanting to answer immediately. So basically, like they apologized, yada, yada, yada. That was the first red flag with this brand. The fact that they were being very impatient because they had um, they had a deadline that they were trying to meet for influencers. That's not my fault that you reached out to me at the last minute and you want this video to go up in five minutes. Like, that's not my fault. You have to give me a second to respond to you. Mama, you ready? You ready for daycare? All right. One second, I'm gonna tell y'all the rest of the story. Let me take my dog to daycare. Cause she's hanging out, I, you can't even see her. She hanging out this damn window right now being impatient. And I promise you, I don't have ADD. I am gonna come back and tell you the rest of the story. I just have to take Blossom into the facility really quickly. So I can head to work. All right, Miss Thing is in daycare and they have National Grilled Cheese Day today, which means she is getting a grilled cheese sandwich. Love that. Um, okay, so I told you about the brands. Oh, I can roll the windows up now because Blossom is not in the car. Um, I told y'all about the brand's first red flag where they would not give me a day to think about anything it was we need you to hurry up because we have a campaign that we need for everybody to like upload their videos at this certain time which is kind of annoying and now that i think about it i feel like that's kind of manipulating because it kind of feels like when they send you they want you to hurry up and sign the contract without like really reading it like that like oh i need you to hurry up and sign this contract hurry up and make your decision so that we can hurry up and get this video out I didn't even think about that until just now. I just feel like it's kind of manipulative. But anyway, so red flag number two came when they literally kept pounding into my head that 
so it just so happened that the month that I work with them, they were saying you cannot you cannot upload your video the last two weeks of the month. It has to be the beginning of this month. So I was like, okay, so then send the product. So they send the product. The product does not come in the first two weeks of the month. I don't know what's taking so long for this shit to come, but you're rushing me to sign everything, make my selections for which product I want, yada, yada, yada. And then when you finally send the product to me and when I finally get the product it's no longer even within the time frame of when you were saying you needed this video to be up so finally when the product did come and I guess they saw that the tracking had got to my house that day they wrote me and was like hey Yana just wanted to make sure that you received the product because the tracking says that you did receive the product so I was like hey yeah I did receive the product I just got it today they were like, great, so please send over your uh, rough draft. No, so please so please send over our portion so that you can upload the video tomorrow. Bitch, who's uploading a video tomorrow? Cause not me, I just got this product. I'm not about to throw it together in no rinky dink ass video and then upload the video tomorrow because you want me to upload the video tomorrow because you took forever to send me the product. I'm not doing that, what's wrong with y'all? Um, mind you, we originally had a specific date that this video was supposed to go up. I just didn't have the product at that point. So they're thinking that because the time has passed in order, so they're, so I'm guessing that they're thinking that because the time has passed from when the video was originally supposed to go up, that as soon as I got the product, the video can go up immediately. No, that is not the way it worked. You missed the old date and I have other sponsorships. Every brand that I, um, this is one like some brands that I work with they act like they are the only brand that I'm working with at the time I had pushed back a few of my videos in order to accommodate this specific brand for the date that they wanted and then you guys missed that date I'm not going to continuously keep pushing back my other sponsorships because you want a video uploaded at, on a certain day no you missed your day baby girl it you have to move we have to move on so that was red flag number two that y'all are y'all thought that when this product came the video was gonna be edited done filmed sent to you approved everything by in 24 hours no not happening so i was like i can have a draft for you in a couple of days I, so i said i can have the draft slash script to you in a couple of days but the video is not gonna be able to go up until this specific date and at that point it was the next month so then they were like okay they were like okay that's fine send them the script they have a few tweaks that they want me to make which is why i this is why i do a script so that like i said if i have already filmed the video and the video looks good i'm not going back and cutting to me not in hair and makeup and looking crazy so great i refilmed it the way that they wanted me to i said it to them they said perfect this is good i said okay this is approved because the video is going up on Sunday and they said yes this is approved so before I tell you what the brand did next to me I want to give you like a full layout when I emailed the brand the unlisted link so you like upload it on YouTube and you the only the people that have the link can see it so I sent the brand the unlisted link the link says script for brand's name when I sent them the email, I said, this is the script for the video that I'm filming for Sunday. I made it very clear that this was a script. They approved it. So I refilmed the video with the same exact script. Nothing changed. The, every word was exactly the same. And on top of that, I showed the product in the same exact way as I did in the script video. The brand reached back out to me and told me that they have to so one of the reps from the brand reached out to me and said they have to go back and talk to the brand because the video that i put up was not approved by them the only difference in the two videos is that i now had on hair and makeup the script that i filmed was in my bathroom it was super dark there was no light no nothing the video i wish i could show y'all a side by side of this of the script that i sent versus the actual video so you can see how much more better quality the actual video was versus the script so that you can understand why this irritated the hell out of me um but if i show you a side by side you would know exactly what brand i'm talking about and i don't want to throw them out there like that but the brand so but they but they basically but the rep basically told me 
you you know this wasn't the video that was approved to go live so I sent her the script and I sent her the new video and I was like ma'am you did approve the script and I told you twice that this was a script and it's the same exact thing so I sent her the script again and I sent her my video so that they can see that it was the same exact thing and then she was like you know well it doesn't matter because this wasn't this wasn't approved I said I have on hair and makeup and the lighting is better what is not approved about it she just kept saying this video wasn't approved this video wasn't approved and I just was like I do this with all brands like this has never been a problem you approve the script and then I refilm the script in a in better light whatever so she was saying that it was a problem and that I may have to do a make good video whatever she said that this is not approved i need to go talk to the brand to make sure that they don't want you to do a make good video as soon as she said that my fucking my my head exploded i took the video down temporarily and i like wrote her and i said this video is not up anymore let me know what you guys want to do because at that point i think like seven thousand people had watched the video in like a day and i was like i got people you know clicking my link probably buying your products and you telling me you don't even know if the if the video that you are if you don't even know if the script that you already approve is going to work for the brand let me know because right now the video was taken down so then like two hours later they wrote me back and said oh the brand said that it's fine but next time that we work together please make sure that you know we approve the actual video girl it ain't gonna be no next next time that was the very last time that i will ever work with this brand. i'm not ever working with this brand again they have they have literally lost it and I, oh just to just to go back i forgot to tell y'all that we had got into it about my terms of payment because usually when I work with a brand, I get net 14, meaning that they pay me 14 days after the video is posted. This brand wanted to pay me net 30 and not even net 30. They wanted to pay me net 30 from the end of the month from when the video was posted. So for instance, if I posted a video April 2nd, they're saying that, so for instance, if I post a video February 1st, they're saying that they're not going to pay me until 30 days after February 28th. So basically it's two months of me not getting paid. No, I'm not doing that. If I can do net, I can do net 30. I prefer, I prefer not to, but if I'm doing net 30, it's net 30 from the day that I posted the video, not net 30 from the end of the month that I posted the video in. Like, so I, I just really feel like that some brands have lost their mind. Why would you even suggest that somebody will post a video for you and you don't pay them until two months later? what oh there's fucking traffic well there's crazy traffic right now so i'm gonna listen to music and then i'm gonna come back to you guys when i'm at work and when i get to work i do need to check on blossom on the webcam that's all i do is watch her on the webcam all day while i'm at work <coughs> yeah mm -hmm. i have a full abdomen sculpted i'm literally trying to check on my dog why is she in the crate being bad being bad Okay, so really quickly, before I leave for the day, I'm actually about to go home, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Please ignore my nipple. My hair in the back is usually in the front, so you can't see this. My hair always covers my nipples because I do not wear bras, um, but patients can't see it because like I said, my hair covers it. But yeah, this is my outfit. My little black dress, my little black heels, my tote bag, me. Hey, pretty girl. Thank you. Okay. Sit down. Sorry. Thank you. Go. Girl. Ah. There you go. Use the bathroom. Bathroom. Use the bathroom. Why do they have your harness on the wrong way? Blossom, do you have to use the bathroom? Thank you. They were giving out these dog mom stickers, so I got me one, but I'm not putting it on my car, so I'm trying to figure out where it's gonna go. All right. 
Let's put your harness on the right way, child. All right, seat belt. All right, get in your bed. Good girl. All right, so I need to either go to Target or PetSmart. And I'm backing up like I have a decision and I don't. I need to figure it out because I need to get Blossom. I think I need to go to PetSmart. Pet Smart. I need to get Blossom some food, but I also need to get some food to cook for tonight. But I really don't like... So I take Blossom into Target all the time. Like she loves Target. She When we pull up to Target, she gets so excited. Um, I take her to Target all the time, but I don't like taking her to Target if I need to actually get groceries. Like I don't want to take her to Target if I'm just like, like looking at clothes or like going in Target to get her dog food or anything like that. But if it comes to like actually like grocery shopping, I just think it's, I don't like taking her down the grocery aisle. I just feel like, I don't know. Not that I think it's unsanitary because I don't, like my dog. I don't know. I just don't want to take her through the grocery aisle. I don't think it's appropriate to take my dog through like grocery stuff. So I think I'm just going to go to PetSmart and then maybe I'll order the groceries to cook for tonight. Or when I, Amy gets off work at seven, so I'm going to pick her up. Maybe I can leave her and Blossom in the car while I run in and get something for dinner real quick. Or I might just order some damn dinner. I don't know. I don't know. Let me, I don't know. I don't know. But right now, pet smart. You ready to run my pockets up? Blossom. 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 Don't ignore me. Okay. Let's let's go. I'm oh, sorry, are we rushing? All right, so this is what she likes to eat for dinner. We give her the little chicken patties, but you have to read the back of them because I've had so many times that I got these and they were about to expire. And then on one time I accidentally gave Blossom an expired one and didn't realize it and she had got really sick. But I bought it expired. It's not like I let them expire and then she ate it. Like I literally bought it expired. I have your hamburgers, yes. Yes! Alright, so she really likes the chicken ones. I'll get four chicken ones and... Oh, I'll get her some beef ones too. Because the beef ones, they usually last longer. Hmm, these expire first. It's usually the other way around. Yeah, we'll, we'll just get two beef because she really likes the chicken. So, how many chicken did I get? One, two, three, four. So, two, four, six, eight. So, this is a week supply of chicken. And then two beef. And then we'll get one bag of dog food. Should I get two bags? Two bags of dog food. This is her dog food. Well, do you like the chicken and turkey one? I don't know. I feel like with this, she likes the beef one better. And then with the actual patties, she likes the patties. Can you sit down, please? Blossom, have a seat. Thank you. Now I want to get her some toppers. The toppers that she really likes is actually in, ooh, this looks good. The toppers that she really likes are in Target, but this look good. So she loves peanut butter. So a natural peanut butter spread. Let me see. I'll put this right here. We'll see if she likes that. And then they have a meal topper. Like a, let's see. Hmm. I guess you just, like it's seasoning and you just put it on the food. So would I get this or would I get the beef one? Huh. I'm gonna get them both. Oh, I'm about, oh, Blossom. We'll see if she likes these instead. 
You're very expensive, young lady. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna get you some treats. So the last few times I've come in here, all of her treats are sold out. So we get her bully sticks, but they have to be no odor. These say low odor, but they still stink like a bitch. So I'm not getting these. And then all of the no odor bully sticks are always sold out. And this is the only brand that she likes. So yeah. I'm really thinking about getting these, but it says mild chewer and she's not a mild chewer. She's at least moderate. I ain't gonna say she is super chewer, but she's she might be moderate. I mean, I guess I could try it and see how it works, but I really want her bully stick. Food right here. We came in here for three <laughs> burgers. That's it. That's what we came in here for. You gonna put this in the bag for me? Yeah, you gonna put this in the bag for me? <laughs> Alright, the total is $117.99. You wanna use your $5 from savings? Sure! Wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. no. Is it too late? Back. We can take it back. We can take it back. I like to use it when she we gets groomed. Okay. Right, I just thought about that. Card. Uh, card. So, Amy and I decided to get burgers and drink some wine tonight. So, I'm gonna give Blossom her food, which is gonna be one of her chicken burgers. I only give her one when she goes to daycare because when she's done with daycare, she is tired. Like, she doesn't want to eat after daycare. This is the only thing that I can get her to eat after daycare because she loves them so much. Um, so I only give her one because if I put two in there, she gonna eat too fast. I don't want her stomach to turn. So, I'm gonna give her one. I'm not swinging by anywhere. I'm not leaving this house. I'm on this house. No, but look. Which one should I get? Which one should I do? Should I get? Should I do the beef recipe or the chicken recipe? It's chicken. It's a chicken burger. So I do, should I do the chicken seasoning? Come here. Come smell. Come here. Do you like, okay. She walked off on both of them. You watch her what? Oh, she don't like peas. Like, like <laughs> Just to get them out the way. Do you like it? Dinner is served. So it's the end of the night. I am trying to pick out my clothes for work tomorrow so that I can sleep in longer. Um, Blossom has a dog walker that comes to get her at night. It's a girl who lives in our building who Blossom loves. Her name is Logan. And when I say her name, when I say Logan, Blossom goes crazy. So she's coming to get Blossom tonight. She walks Blossom and then brings her back up. So I usually don't walk Blossom at night, but sometimes, like sometimes like she's in college or so sometimes she has like projects or if she's like out of town, I walk Blossom, but usually every night Logan comes to get her. So Logan's gonna come get her. You'll see Blossom um, be super excited to see Logan and her two dogs. And then I'm going to sleep. I am beat, I'm tired, I am sleepy. And I got a few TikToks that I need to film, but it's not happening tonight. I might do it this weekend. I just don't want to go that long without uploading a TikTok. So I still might have to wake up early in the morning and just film a TikTok in the morning. Depends on how I feel. Um, but yeah. Blossom about to go to the bathroom and then I'm going to sleep. So you're about to see Blossom, but this is the last time you're going to see me. So love you. Mean it. 
You excited? You ready? You ready? You ready? Ready? Ah, 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 ah. Sit. Yeah.